Hey guys and welcome to another video. When the Mavic Air was launched, DJI introduced... When the Mavic Air was launched, DJI introduced a small difference to RTH that you might not be aware of. Today I'll be talking about that. The Mavic Air differs from the Spark and the Mavic Pro in regards to RTH, more specifically failsafe RTH. I'm not sure about the RTH on the Inspire series and the Phantom 4 Pro, so I won't be covering them, so I'll just be focusing on the, on the Mavic Air. Well, the difference is pretty simple. If you disconnect from the remote controller on the Pro or on the Spark, the drone will climb to the preset altitude and follow a straight path back to the home point. Well, not the Mavic Air. The Mavic Air will climb to the preset altitude, but instead of coming in a straight line back to the home point, it will try to retrace the path that took it to that position, possibly going around the cause of the signal obstruction. To simulate this, I'll be putting the drone in the air and turning off the remote controller, and you'll see that the drone will not come in a straight line, but instead going back in the same path that took the drone there. So uh, let's put the drone in the air so I can show you. Okay guys, so for this I have my drone on the left side of the frame. I have this old windmill at the center. I'll fly forward from where the drone is now and then go around the windmill to its right side. Then I'll turn off the remote controller and see if the drone comes to me in a straight line through the right side or it will try to retrace its path and fly back to me from the left side. Let's try it now, I'm flying forward. I'm gonna try to keep the drone in frame the best as I can. All right, let's get some distance. There we go. Now I'm gonna fly to the right around the windmill there we go I hope you can see the drone in the frame on the right side it's above that street post let's point the drone's camera to me and press record all right now let's uh, turn off the remote controller and see what happens. Remote controller is off. Drone is climbing to RTH altitude, which is 20 meters. And there you go. Instead of returning to me through the right side, it's retracing its path through the left side. Remote controller is still off and there it comes. I'm gonna turn on the remote controller now because I want to assist it landing. It's hovering above me now. Landing. And there we go. Connection reestablished and the drone is landing right next to me. Okay, let's cancel it because I want to hand catch it and wrap this up. Okay guys, so this was it. Let me know in the comments below if you were aware of this difference in RTH. Also, like this video if you liked it, subscribe so you won't lose any more videos just like this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye and stay safe!